We are all in a crucible. Let me say that again. We are all in a crucible right now. We've spent the past year dealing with life's various challenges and barriers while being squeezed from within and without by COVID-19. This squeeze has placed us all under incredible pressure. While it's different for each of us, it's no less intense, no less valid, no less of a crucible. While I'm speaking to you tonight, during the day I'm working as an inpatient COVID doctor at my hospital. While we're all in our own challenging space, we still know and we still carry the weight of needing to perform, deliver, function, and do so at the highest possible level. We've been doing this the best that we can for month after month, and we need every tool at our disposal to perform at the highest level, especially when we don't feel up to the task. The best tools will ideally be sustainable, effective, agile, and freely available to all. I spend much of my time in the crucible inside a hospital working as a doctor. Within those walls, remarkable things happen to the point where they're mundane. Nothing is mundane anymore. Everything feels like it's on fire. In parallel to that heat and energy, our interactions with others carry increased weight. Our words land differently and with more resonance. So within that dynamic, the power of compliments, of recognition, of positive reinforcement is massively amplified, and we can take advantage of this. When we're growing up, compliments are treasures. We frequently found ourselves in situations where things we did were recognized with positive reinforcement, with a compliment in the moment. Whether it was the classroom or the dining room, the athletic field or the performance venue, the workspace or the creative space, compliments and positive reinforcement were often part of the rhythm of the work. And the data and literature surrounding the way these compliments and reinforcement impact the brain are just tremendous. I remember as a kid, near the end of a long midsummer tennis workout, the one where your feet are hot, your shirt is soaked, my hand is blistered, my coach saw me crack a forehand winner up the line. I remember his body language. He stopped, he faced me, and he said, Shapiro, that is how you do it. Then he broke down specifically what he had seen me do. Talk about resonant. I wanted to hit forehands again and again. That was three decades ago, and I still want to do it. Three decades. Over time, we move away from that in-the-moment passing of compliments. The reasons are varied. In medicine, we switch to numbers, to test scores and rankings. That's where the validation frequently comes from. It's not the same. There's a gap that has developed between the nature of what each of us is doing and the recognition, the compliments that the work merits, especially while we sit in this pandemic crucible. It makes it harder to continue this grind, to want to continue this grind. But it is also one we can move across with a tool that is sustainable, effective, agile, freely available to all. We're all in this space together, this crucible, this COVID pandemic. We know that when we take that step and give someone a compliment in the moment, it will be effective at driving performance because we've been there before. Over the course of the pandemic, I've been really fortunate to spend several stretches working in my hospital's COVID unit. It's an intense place to work. It's scary. It's nerve-wracking and stressful. In many ways, it's been the professional challenge of a lifetime. I remember feeling, more than ever before, that when I saw something noteworthy, I needed to call it out. What I found when I did that is that it was very reinforcing for the recipient it was also very reinforcing for me. It felt incredible. Hey, thanks for spending so much time in there doing physical therapy. Nice work digging up the phone number for that family member. I just spoke with them. I appreciate it. Honestly, it helped me feel like I was interacting outside of the crucible in a more normal and pleasant human fashion, and I wanted to do it more. That builds momentum. That momentum is easily replicated, easily sustained, it's easily reproduced, it can be done by anybody. So this begs the question, why am I even talking about it? Because we all have, in large part, fallen out of those easy habits we were used to when we were younger, where giving compliments was more normalized. Two, four, six, eight, who do we appreciate? Therein lies the tension. 
Just like any other skill, any other muscle, if you don't use it, it will atrophy. It's not going to be there in the way that you want it. So the first time that you do this, giving a compliment in the moment, it may feel a bit awkward. The first time you say to someone, hey, I really like the way you did that. That was really cool. Nicely done. It may feel a bit stilted. That is okay. That is the tension each of us needs to step through and acknowledge. The performance lever comes when you begin doing this over and over again because you're having that ripple effect. Within your microenvironment, your COVID bubble, your crucible, you're having that ongoing effect, and from there you can expand. That's the part of this dynamic, the part around using compliments as a performance lever that I find the most exciting, the most compelling, the most aspirational. It's not just me paying you a compliment in the moment. It's you then doing it, and the next person doing it, and the next. The analogy I like to use here is throwing a boulder into a still lake. Now, COVID sure did that to all of us, to society at large. This has been a huge boulder of disruption. One of the things I'm excited about is we have the opportunity now to throw our own boulders. When we know it's hard out there, when we know that those to our left and to our right are struggling, we also know a boulder we can throw Tell someone that they did a good job. It's not just your words. There's so much more. You're letting them know, I see you. I appreciate what you did right there. I'm taking 30 seconds of my time to make sure you can see through my body language, my eye contact, my shoulder rotation to face you. My phone's not in my hand. My focus on you. I see what you did. It impacted me in a positive way. And I wasn't even the one on the receiving end of your action. That's how we can build momentum, how we can create change, how we can use the simple skill we are ingrained with to begin to drive performance now. As we continue to think about how we can do this, how we can move through this crucible and be there for one another, this is the low-hanging fruit. It's sustainable. It's agile. It's easily replicated. It's freely available to all. The biggest tension is starting out is seeing, wow, what state is my compliment muscle in right now, and how do you start to practice? After you've done this a few times, you can reflect and share the story of what happened when you took the opportunity to give that compliment. A story around this I like to share is after I'd finished a rotation in my hospital's COVID unit. It was an extraordinary experience for me. It's a very meaningful part of my career. Something that really stuck out was the level of commitment and performance demonstrated by the nursing staff day after day. Keeping everybody safe, making sure we're donning and doffing our personal protective equipment correctly, communicating effectively as a team, taking really great care of patients. This was very high level. This was big players making big plays in a big moment, and I wanted to share it with them. So we sat down, and I said, this was exceptional. You all have made this experience extraordinary, and I really appreciate that. And I asked, can I write a letter to the nursing leadership? And they said, yeah, please do. It then came back to me. That letter hangs in their nursing lounge. This is the bi-directional nature of passing a compliment. The neurotransmitter surge I felt in my brain when I heard this was just, wow. So now all I want to do is share stories like that with other people. When we are in a crucible and we have the opportunity to use that low-hanging fruit, we should not miss it. When we take it and start to build those muscles, we can then start to share with others about the impact we're having. This is the boulder we can throw. And throw we shall, because opportunity awaits at home, at work, over Zoom, and oh my goodness, dare I say it, giving yourself a compliment. And as we move through this COVID-19 pandemic and we come out the other end, this muscle, this skill will be there for you as we continue into whatever comes next. More importantly, it's there for your teammates, your family, your friends, your community. And so I'll close by saying this to you. Well done. Well done for stepping into this tension with me. It's not easy, especially when you're in a crucible like we are all in today. Job well done. Thank you all very much.